I mean, I literally go from here to home uh, unless I was going to see my daughter play soccer or my son play basketball. But other than that, I, we don't do much. We, we got it. I have to stay safe um, more than anything. So I have my daughter, my wife, and my son. They get tested as well. I have them just go to a private doctor just because they're out playing basketball and soccer. I don't, you know. So we we just being as safe as we can and, and, and understand the dynamics. And then I got to make sure they're mentors. You know, you got a 16 year old boy, he just got to stay in the house all day. That ain't, you know, and an active 10 year old. Then I, I, me, we haven't, I, hell, I can't even take my wife out to dinner right now, not comfortably. So, but everybody's going through it. So, and I always tell my team that's life, that's adversity. So we deal with it. After being swept in the South Texas showdown last year, the UTRGV men's basketball team did the sweeping this time by beating Texas A&M Corpus Christi twice in the past month. Sweeping them this year, they swept us last year, um, but coming back and sweeping them this year is, is, is a great, great feat for us as a team. We keep winning, we keep moving on, our guys keep playing. Um, having a chance to keep getting better each and every game. And it's become a good rivalry. And what we haven't been doing, games we supposed to win, we haven't always won. We will have a slip here and there. And that's what, like I tell my guys, we can't do that if we want to um, compete with New Mexico State because they never slip. And great teams really never slip. So, and that's where we have to get to mentally. Defense is where you win championships. So, I, uh, defensively is where we got to create an offense. You know, getting steals, getting teams to um, shoot quick and bad shots and get the rebound and get out in transition and, and make plays for one another. Wow. So, it, defense and offense goes hand in hand. You, right, you don't want to average 80 and give up 84. So I always tell our guys, you know what they talk about being two-way players, let's be a two-way team. With fans, players, and staff following COVID-19 protocols, game days have a very different look this season. Well, it, I mean, it, it, we definitely missed them, you know, uh, because I think we got one of the best pep bands in the, in the country. Um, our fan base is growing, you know, at the end of the year, I thought, our fan base has proven to be one of the best in the in the WAC conference, and not to have them here this year has definitely put a damper on the games. But at the same time, the guys and our coaching staff and everybody around us, we have to create the energy and, and have the mindset that fans are in there, you know, and just play. It is like a mental challenge, you know, to try to get ready and be enthusiastic about the game when there's no fans. But at the end of the day, the team that we play is trying to come out and beat us, you know. And at the end of the day, it's going to be a win or a loss on our record. So we always remember that. And at the end of the day, we got UTRGV on our chest. So anytime we come out with that on our chest, we're going to try to win, regardless of if it's fans at, at Texas, at A&M, you know what I'm saying, at the Viper Gym. Wherever they want to throw the ball up, you know what I'm saying? On the, on the park, we could do it there too, it don't matter, you know? It does feel different without the fans, but for me, it doesn't matter. Cause like, if you play at the park or if you're playing in pickup or whatever, you're not going to have no fans. So you got to still play and create your own energy, basically. Quentin um, and Sean. I mean, I think Sean leads in scoring was, maybe Quentin is now, uh, but they're probably our two leading scorers. I think they've stepped their games up from last year. They're grown. Uh, the game has slowed down for them. They understand how hard you have to play and, and and how smart you have to play. Just seeing the Islander eye, like 
he didn't really hit me till I, I seen him like walking into the gym. You know, they got to check bags and stuff. I seen it and my hand started shaking and I was just, I was just revved up to say the least. I was revved up, like I wanted that game bad, you know? I mean, I just like winning no matter what. You know, that's, how, that's the type of guy I am, so. Um, sometimes it just depends on how the defense is playing. So like with them, I kind of knew they were going to be sagging off a lot and trying to stop the drive. So then I knew shots were going to be there. So first I might not shoot it just to, just to get a feel on how, how the game was going. And then after that, if I feel like I'm open, I just shoot the ball you know, or I just take what the defense gives me. Kind of. UTRGV's women's basketball team also completed the sweep of the South Texas Showdown this month. The Vaqueros defeated Corpus Christi 58 to 51 on December 2nd and 73 to 68 on December 8th. Our South Texas, you know, rival. I mean, it's always fun. Every single year, it's always fun playing them. We already, already know they're going to give us a good game. Uh, last year, they actually got us twice. So, I mean, we didn't want that to happen again this year. Uh, the first game. We got out to a really rocky start, as a lot of our games this year we have, but our fourth quarter, we really picked up our energy, picked up our intensity, and I mean, we got the win. Uh, going into the second one, we knew that we could beat them, but again, if we play bad, obviously any team can beat any team at any moment. Um, again, we got out to a bad start, but like all our other games, we pick it up second half, and especially the fourth quarter. I know fourth quarter went on like a 12 0 run uh, towards like the end of the game, and that just propels us to the win every time. We, we kind of fall on our fourth quarter, unfortunately, but it played out in our, our advantage. I mean, the first game, I didn't have as good as a game if I, as I wanted to, but again, it's always somebody else on the team that's gonna step up. I know Tiff, that was her game, she had 25. Um, I think any game, we have a different person that can have a good game and, and bring us to the win. I know the second game, I kind of had a good game. But also, like, uh, Fort Porter just came off the bench and really gave us energy. I think she ended the game with nine points. She only played maybe 10 minutes the whole game, and most of those minutes came in the fourth quarter, so that boost just helps us. Um, Janae even had a good game, our Corpus game. Every, every game is somebody different. You never know who's going to come out and have a good game for us. UTRGV's women's team should be gaining another weapon soon with sophomore guard Sarah Bershers set to return from injury. I had surgery four months ago, so the past four months have just been rehab um, and trying to do like a lot of jogging and trying to get back into shape and stuff. But, um, but yeah, that's basically, I mean, just in the training room in the cold, doing marbles and one single leg, like leg squats and stuff like that. Just trying to get my body back to where it needs to be to be able to play. Before surgery, we thought it was going to be a month and a half recovery. I'll be back and obviously it's been four months, but I mean, I think it's going really well. Um, I think, I think I'm almost back to being 100%, so that's exciting. I think it's gone pretty good. Um, right now, I mean, I'm kind of, obviously I want to be out there really bad, but I mean, I'm kind of, I'm like, like in the patient mindset. Like I remember last year, I was not where I needed to be. I was not 100% last year and I don't want to go back there. So I'm trying to remind myself to be patient and it'll come eventually. We just got to be patient, keep working. Christmas came early for the Vaqueros this year, as the student athletes have been enjoying their new gear following UTRGV's partnership with Under Armour. Today we out here, okay. <laughs> Today we out here filming the Jersey Reveal video. Anything goes, but don't go with me. Like that, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's good, yes. Beautiful, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need no time waster, no more time waster. If you keep running, just stay on your toes. You know I don't play by the rules. If you the one's got to go, you I think I'm playing chess, I see a king, I'm at his neck. I'm three steps ahead of every move, now that's a check. Yes, they wanna know my secret, it's because I never slept. Tell my mama Christmas hey, early. Christmas. Our gear. Our new uh, gear. Our stuff. This is my favorite. The hoodie. This, this is clean. This we got everything. A whole bunch of goodies. <laughs> <laughs> so glad. You know what? I, I would like to thank everybody 
around the university that's made this possible for us to even play with the testing, with our senior staff fighting for us to play and our academic staff, making sure our guys keep up on their grades, you know, and I like to thank my managers and my assistant coaches. And I like to thank all of our families because our families go through this too. Our wives, our kids, they are going through a lot too. So I like to thank them and, and, and let them know how much we appreciate them. On the next episode of Road to Victory, we take a look at the upcoming conference schedule for both teams. I will always go with New Mexico State because <laughs> they left a bitter taste in our mouth that year in the WAC championship. You know, we talked about that with the league being a bubble. Will it just at the end will the tournament? Um, how long are we going to be away from home and family? And, and what kind of onus does that put on my wife and, and my daughter? Um, and again, it just goes back to we wake up each day. We hope to kind of know more information. Um, and then when you realize we're no closer to the answer, you just go about your business and, and try and be as prepared as you can. I mean, we feel like we can win from here on out. Like, we feel like it should be no team that should beat us. Like, whether it's New Mexico State, Chicago State, wherever it's going to be, wherever we're going to play, 